Hey there, my meaty friends. This is Reed, a.k.a. Carnivore Chef, a.k.a. Denny, I guess. I Bob Rost again and had a happy accident. I wasn't planning on making syrup for these pancakes, but ended up wanting to try something out. Turns out I still didn't make syrup, but caramel. The focus is the pancakes for this video, but I do want to take time to develop the caramel sometime in the future. So for now, let's just get started. I've made these before using a carnival waffle recipe that's been floating around for a long time now. To do that, grab a blender cup. What we're gonna do is liquefy beef and eggs together. Add in a quarter pound of ground beef, just break it up in there and then add in three large eggs, a pinch of salt, one to two tablespoons of erythritol or sweetener of your choice, a quarter teaspoon of real vanilla extract, a half teaspoon of baking powder, and finally two tablespoons of heavy cream. Grab your Sony Handycam and watch this yellow mixture turn pink. Now place a pan over medium low to medium heat and add in a little bit of butter to melt it. Pour in your pancake batter and let's start to cook it. Spread it out if you want to get it a little more even. Circular. These actually act a lot like flour filled pancakes in that you need to flip them once you see bubbles running up to the top. I did my fancy pan flips to make this happen, but I don't expect you to do that. You can use a spatula, but be careful when doing so. The proteins aren't bonded the same way as gluten-filled baddies are. If you need an alternative method to either of these, you can also scoop this out onto a plate, carefully of course, and then flip it back onto the pan to finish cooking. I only say all of this because I obviously thought that flipping them in the pan was the only way to get it done. Anyways, let's get my accidental caramel made. In a cold pan, add in 20 grams of collagen, two to three tablespoons of erythritol or sweetener of choice, a quarter teaspoon of optional cinnamon, and three tablespoons of heavy cream. Turn the heat to medium and let reduce until thicken. To be honest, the erythritol is absolutely needed here, or copious amounts of salt. Otherwise, it's a bit bitter. Whether or not you add some sweetener of your choice, that's up to you. Once it's done, pour over your pancakes. I was just completely surprised by this caramel that happened, and was super excited about it. Let's take this first bite for our Patreon community. Videos are now going up a day early, and we have a Discord server going. Links in the description below if you want to join. The pancakes were perfect for my taste, and they had the form factor that I was looking for to have something different. And like I said, the syrup slash caramel needs some work, but it's good enough for now. You could be perfect for my taste too if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. 